Hello. Welcome to my channel. This is the part 5 of the character rigging course. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to rig the eyes. Let's get started the lecture. <laughs> Press numpad 1 to switch to front view. Select the eyes and move around. Firstly, let's separate the eyes each other. Press stab key to switch to edit mode. Click on the space and deselect the vertices. Go over the right eye. Press L key to select the right eye. Press delete key and delete the vertices. Tab key to switch back to object mode. The origin point of the eye should be in the world origin. So we can mirror the eye to the right side. With the eye selected, right click, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Press Shift D to duplicate the eye. Right click, mirror, and mirror the eye on the global X axis. Rename as I.R. Select the other eye and rename as I.L. This time we will set the origins to geometry. Right click, set origin, origin to geometry. In the same way, select the right eye, set the origin point. Select the left eye, press numpad 3 to switch to side view. We will add bones in these origin points, and we will control the eyes by these pivot points. Press Shift S and cursor to select it. So, we can add bone in the origin point. Select the armature and switch to edit mode. Press Shift A to add new bone. Press G key, then Z key to shorten the bone length. Rotate the bone 90 degrees. Shorten the bone length a little bit. Switch to object mode. Select the right eye. Press Shift S and cursor to select it. Select the armature and go back to edit mode. Select the bone we have just created. Press Shift D to duplicate. Press Shift S and selection to cursor. Press F2 and rename the bone as I.R. Select the left bone and rename the bone as I.L. Go to edit mode and uncheck the lock object modes. So we can easily switch between modes. Switch to object mode. Select the left eye firstly, hold down shift and select the armature. Switch to pose mode. Press Ctrl P and set the bone parent to the left eye. Press double R key and rotate the eye. There we go. Click on the space and deselect. In the same way, select the right eye. Hold down shift and select the right eye bone. Press Ctrl P and set the bone parent to the right eye. Press double R and rotate the eye. There we go. Go to edit menu and lock object modes again. Switch to edit mode. Select the eye bones. Press shift D to duplicate the bones. Move the bones on the Y axis. These bones will be eye controller bones. Select the right one, press F2 and rename the bone as I underscore controller dot R. Select the left one and rename the bone as I underscore controller dot L. Switch to pose mode. Select the left eye bone and click on the bone constraint tab and add track constraint. Choose the armature as target, select the left controller bone as sub-target. Set the track axis to positive Y axis. Set the upward axis to Z axis and enable the target Z option. Select the eye controller bone, press G key and move around. There we go. In the same way, select the right eye bone and click on the bone constraint tab and add track constraint. Choose the armature as target, select the right controller bone as sub-target. Set the track axis to positive Y axis. Set the upward axis to Z axis and enable the target Z option. Select the eye controller bone, press G key and move around. As you can see, it is not practical to control the eyes separately. We will make another controller bone that will control the eyes at the same time. Switch to edit mode. Switch to top view. Select the any controller bone, press shift D and duplicate the bone. Rename the bone as I underscore controller. 
Select the left and right controller bone. Finally, select the eye controller bone. Press Ctrl P and keep offset. Switch to pose mode. Select the eye controller bone, switch to front view, and move around. There we go. Select the head bone, press double R key to rotate. As you can see, the eyes don't follow along the head. We need to parent the head bone to eye bones. Switch to edit mode. Select the eye bones. Hold down shift and select the head bone lastly. Press Ctrl P and keep offset. Select the eye controller bone, hold down shift and select the head bone. Press Ctrl P and keep offset. Switch back to pose mode. Select the head bone and rotate. That's it. We can control the eyes as we wish now. As you have noticed, the mouth doesn't deform correctly. It's because we have assigned vertex weights automatically. We will fix these problems in the next weight painting tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.